Welcome back to RTA. In today's video, we're going to be talking about critical race theory and racial bias. But first, let's get into the juicy news. All right, so as you guys uh, probably know, um, there's been a lot of heat and debate going on about critical race theory um, with it being taught in the school districts um, and there's been um, rules and regulations passed um, to do away with critical race theory and um, apparently uh, there was a Texas principal by the name of James Whitfield who was accused of promoting critical race theory um, in the school and in, in one of the Texas schools and um, and now um, unfortunately he is uh, no longer employed with that district so um, in today's segment we're gonna we're gonna really touch on critical race theory so that you can become aware of what it is and how it is um, causing such huge controversy um, within our world today but uh, before we get into that um, let's go ahead and dive into lifestyle and beauty highlights. Hello everyone, welcome back to Lifestyle and Beauty Highlights. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some really cute Thanksgiving outfit ideas. That's all that I have for you guys today, but I really hope that I was able to inspire you or give you a little bit of some type of inspiration when it comes to coming up with your Thanksgiving outfit. Let's go ahead and get into today's topic. and gentlemen um, so uh, today we're talking about critical race theory and racial bias and how it is um, affecting our world today so I have I found the perfect clip that I want to share with you guys that will definitely give you guys um, a thorough explanation about critical race theory explaining giving you the details about what it is and how it's affecting us and um, and, and just giving you more insight about it so that um, people don't feel threatened uh, by it. So let's go ahead and, and dive into that video. Tonight, teaching the truth is not radical or wrong. That was the message today from the president of one of the largest teachers unions in the United States who are fighting back as Republican leaders in several states try to restrict how teachers teach racism in the classroom. Ellie Reeve is out front. <laughs> There are thousands of parents all over the U.S. of all races who have been speaking out against CRT, and rightfully so. These are my babies, not yours. If you are embarrassed or ashamed of your skin color, that's your issue, not mine nor my children. This is a school board meeting in a suburb of Philadelphia, where a small group of very vocal parents are speaking out against critical race theory, or CRT. We do not want our children to be taught that America is systemically racist. 
600,000 people died in the Civil War to end racism and slavery. Don't rewrite factual history or indoctrinate, just present the facts. In the wake of protests of the murder of George Floyd, Republican politicians have been hyping critical race theory as a threat to the impressionable minds of America's children. Critical race theory says every white person is a racist. Critical race theory says America is fundamentally racist and irredeemably racist. In more than 12 states, legislators have proposed bills to ban CRT. We wanted to meet the actual people working with actual kids in actual schools. So we talked to Kaziah Ridgway, who teaches high school African American history and discusses CRT in her anthropology class. Can I just start with a very simple, what is critical race theory? Yes. Critical race theory is not being taught in schools. It is a theory, it is a lens by which to view history and the way that law and race kind of overlaps and connects in society. Can it influence the way that some teachers teach? Uh, yeah, but that's a good thing, right? Because race and racism is literally the building box of this country. So. How can you not talk about it? Critical race theory is an academic framework that says racial inequality is perpetuated by the racism embedded in America's laws, not by individual bigotry. But relentless propaganda from some conservatives has created a panic that white people, and especially white children, are under attack. Critical race theory is basically teaching people to hate our country. Schools are embracing this ideology and forcing white students and white teachers to be ashamed of their own skin color. It's not critical race theory, it's racism. These are systemic things. Ignoring it perpetuates the problem. By acknowledging it, we can find solutions and we can address the problems and the inequality that exists in our country. And so I think teaching it this way actually does the opposite of what these people say it does. Are you teaching children to hate America? No, I'm teaching children to question America. And that's what makes a good pick. Don't force on our kids a particular worldview. Taking a white brush and painting this country as structurally racist. It's insane. Why well, is it insane though? I mean, I just... it's a lie. Last year, Alana Fishbein says she received an email from her kid's school that students would be learning more about the role of race in American society. She thought the materials were racist, so she pulled her kids out of public school. Then she created an advocacy group, No Left Turn in Education, to draw attention to her claims that CRT is poisoning young minds. This isn't just in history. In the 90s, the crime bill gave much more severe sentencing to crack cocaine versus powder cocaine simply because black people were perceived as doing crack cocaine and white yeah, people- Ask, a, ask a Joe Biden why he did that. Ask I Joe think Biden. that's a great question. Wait, but this Joe Biden, I think is a perfect illustration, right? Joe Biden would present himself as a nice guy who would never have a racist bone in his body, yet he participated in creating these laws that have a structural effect of affecting black people more than white people. But we don't have them now. People affected by that law are still alive. We're talking about something entirely different now. This is my taxpayer's money. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to go to indoctrinate kids that then are gonna hate my kids because of the color of their skin and attack them because of the color of the skin. What happened in the summer, it twisted the minds of all kids. My kids can be attacked by Antifa kids or BLM kids that are not black. They are white like my kids, but they are believing they were indoctrinated and they internalized this philosophy. Were your children beat up by Antifa kids? I beg your pardon? Were your children beat up by Antifa kids? I'm talking, it's gonna happen if we are not gonna stop it, but we are gonna stop it, we are. We are the great majority of this country. Anti-CRT propaganda is drawing big crowds. Of course I'm against critical race theory. More than 100 people showed up at this diner near Baltimore, where local Republican groups held a panel on school COVID shutdowns and CRT. What is critical race theory? Uh, critical race theory is the idea that's taught to uh, our nation's youth that the way that you're born uh, contributes to the amount of success that you can achieve in this country. It basically states that white people are born with everything, and if you're not white, you're born with nothing. Can you name any critical race theory scholars? 
Probably not. Can you name any critical race theory concepts? I, I don't know what the concepts are. I, I think I, I think I, I think I summarized critical race theory as a whole pretty well. To paint the country as a inherently racist country from its founding, I think is dangerous. The three-fifths compromise is written into the Constitution in which slaves are counted as three-fifths of a person. Of course, and that was applied at an earlier time. That's not the case now, obviously. Well, you, you just mentioned the founding of the country, so. Well, yeah, it wasn't perfectly written in the Constitution. When did you first hear about critical race theory? Mm, sometime around last year. Where'd you see it? I'm on Fox News. The idea that you can succeed based on your race is ludicrous. This is not the 1960s anymore. Just because of your skin color does not mean that you cannot be successful here in America. Point blank, period. I teach these books for my anthropology class. Are you teaching white kids to hate themselves for being white? No. Are you teaching black kids that there's nothing they can do to improve their situation? Absolutely because not. There's racism and they can never fight it, so they should give up. Absolutely not. I'm creating little free thinkers and future politicians and lawyers and teachers and change makers. Our kids are smart. They know what's happening. And I think we do them a disservice by continuing to pretend like critical race theory is the issue when it's really you just don't want kids to learn the truth. Because not only do they become critical thinkers, they also become voters. And that is what's scaring a lot of these people because they know that as this generation gets older, a lot of these people that are making these laws will be voted out of office. So Ellie, I know you spoke to parents and activists in Philadelphia for your story, but you've done so much reporting on this. How widespread is it? Yeah, we're seeing conflicts over CRT pop up across the country. For example, our crew just dropped by one meeting just to see if someone might show up and talk about it, and two people did. And while this conflict and panic is based on misinformation, the fear these people feel is real. We saw a woman cry real tears at the thought that her child was being taught to be ashamed for being white. All right, so now that you have an explanation um, and, a, and um, you have a thorough definition of what critical race theory is, um, I wanted to share another short clip on how all of this racial bias is affecting our children. So um, let's go ahead and take a look. Show me the dumb child. Dumb child. <laughs> okay, why is she the dumb child? Because she has black skin. Okay. Show me the bad child. Why is he the bad child? Because he's really dark. Show me the dumb child. Why is she the dumb child? Because she looks black, black. Show me the good child. Why is she the good child? Because she looks lighter. Show me the child you would like to have as a classmate. Why would you like to have him as a classmate? Because he's white. Show me the child who has the skin color most adults like. And show me the child who has the skin color most adults don't like. Well, show me the ugly child. And why is she the ugly child? Because she's black. Show me the good looking child. And why is she the good looking child? Because she likes skinny. And show me the skin color you believe most teachers think looks bad on a girl. I don't think they think it matters. I don't think they, they don't think it matters? Like it doesn't matter what you look like on the outside, it just matters what you look like on the inside. Can you show me the child that has your skin color? Thank you. Okay. Show me the child that has the skin color you want. I want that one. Okay. Show me the child who has the skin color you don't want. Show me the child you would like as a classmate. All of them. You like all of them as classmates? Mm -hmm. Why do you say all of them? Because I don't really care what um, color they have. All right, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now you have insight as to um, how all of this racial bias is affecting our world. Most importantly, 
how it's affecting our children. And remember, the children are our future. The children are the ones who will grow to become our doctors, our lawyers, our day-to-day um, uh, employers and employees, and all of it affects all of us. So it's important to start in the home by teaching your children um, their history, teaching your children about other people in the world so that um, they're familiar um, with different cultural backgrounds um, so that we can do away with all of the racial bias that's um, streaming now. And so it's, it's up to you as parents, you know, to inform your children. Um, and it's also up to us as a whole, um, as a community, um, and as a, an entire world of citizens, okay? We have to be there for each other. We have to teach each other. Um, we have to uh, bring, um, bring things like this to the forefront and so that people are aware. And then once you are aware, um, when a person knows better, that's when they're able to do better. Okay, so let's work on um, teaching and sharing knowledge so that um, our youth uh, will be um, united uh, as one. And, and with their unity, within their unity, that is how um, we're going to make a difference and that's how we're going to be able to change the world that we live in. All right, um, so that's all that I have for you guys today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this to come.